For weeks now, we have been celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month with stories capturing the Latino community and culture. This morning, I want to show you a business nestled in San Francisco's Latino Cultural District and how the owners are creating a space to keep it thriving. A quick walk down Calle 24 in the Mission District, it's clear culture is not concealed. 24th Street, there's just so many talented artists, so many talented people. Fernando and Dahlia are from San Francisco, went to school around the corner, and now using their love for art to inspire and heal. Fernando takes us inside his shop, Evolve. The evolve is like just to, to try to develop yourself, to, to try to improve yourself, to improve your situation, to improve your environment. Uh, to me, that's, that's what evolve means. That's exactly what they're doing. Evolved is more than just a clothing store. For the last four years, they're dressing the community with art, creating and nurturing a space for people who I'm look like them. I'm putting some ink on the screen and we use a squeegee right here and then we pretty much swipe the screen. Fernando began his day screen printing one of his favorite designs. It says yeah. abundance. That's a design that we made because that's something that we want to manifest. Like I said, we want to manifest it for ourselves, our family, our friends, our community. This block, known as the Latino Cultural District, has the greatest concentration of art and Latino businesses in the city. It's the birthplace of the San Francisco mural movement. The murals and the connection that we we feel when we see like our stories being told on the walls. Their stories, their lives, their culture, often overlooked and overshadowed. What we've noticed is there's so many talented and amazing people, and their stories are being told. So instead, they're showing them. Most pieces, whether large or small, inside their shop are from local artists of color. As artists themselves, they like to get pretty creative from tie-dyeing to hosting events and gatherings, but they admit it's not easy. Keep encouraging us to keep going because sometimes, like, as an entrepreneur, it can get kind of hard. That's where this design came from, a reminder for themselves. I grew up here, mm -hmm. and I've seen all the changes, and being able to still hold a spot here in San Francisco is really important to me, and I'm, I'm grateful for it. All right, so y'all y'all heard Thalia in my story there. Mm -hmm. She says that sometimes it's kind of hard, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with this. She says that's because the lack of financial resources for Latino-owned businesses. Now, there's a study that Stanford did. It found that 33% of Latino-owned businesses applied for PPP loans, but only 10% were approved. White-owned businesses were approved at a higher rate and had a similar percentage apply, but 17% were approved. Now, Thalia and Fernando, they say they refuse to let that stop them. They are also helping other Latino businesses businesses run their social media to make sure their digital footprint is pretty strong to mm -hmm. get more people inside those shops there in that community. And that's such a huge thing, yes. too, especially yes. at this point. Everyone is just shopping yep. on Instagram, even yeah. on social media yeah. at this point. So that's really cool. And yeah. I love that abundance shirt they yes. made. Absolutely nice. Amazing. Well, just the outreach there, too, because yeah. also showing how colorful and beautiful the yeah. work is and the mm -hmm. area they're in, and it's just bringing people, hopefully, to visit as yes. well. Let's hope so.